that skinny bow-legged woman over here to talk to Corbin. It's Don't talk mom. about your mom. It's his mom. Way, Rick. It's his mom. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid directions. You need this is Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy it's content. So we know some of you juicy. hate your mom jokes, but ha, your mom. They're never gonna <laughs> never gonna stop. And no, we didn't plan that one. We just uh, do that. And we need all the people going to the When did the mom thing begin? Oh, when she was pregnant with you. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated, you know? Today we're reacting to a trade off. <sighs> it's a um, Millennium trade. Okay. New, old, new, and oh, old. New and old together. That's crazy, man. No, it's uh, Bangalore Days. Bangalore Days. Yes. Okay. And I believe it does have um, what's his face in it. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to know that. Fahad Fasil. Oh. Yeah, I believe he is in this. Okay. Uh, but this is uh, this is one that we've been recommended a lot. Like when people say uh, the next. Um, um, Malali and film you should watch. This one's highly, I'm, I'm highly sure I've seen the request. And for those of you who don't know, Bless your little hearts for sending me things you want me to watch. I never watch them, guys, because because he's dyslexic. They're gonna show up here someday. So, thank you. But here we go. I have no idea what it's here. about, so we will find out. Here we go. Oh, they have Kumbalaji Nights and Bangalore Days. They have who's they? Kerala Evenings. Who's they? Like Malayalam industry. Yeah, I know. Bangalore Days. Yeah. Kumbalaji Nights. Do you think I forgot? No, I'm saying. Is there, this is a trilogy. Wait, what? This no, is, it was no. a joke. God, you. <laughs> He's really funny, guys. He you should do comedy. So dumb. <laughs> Divya, Aju, Nyan. Nyan, I don't know. Original Moor Sangam. Good morning. You're listening to 91.9, the radio station for a fun young Bangalore. Bangalore. What a rocking city. I'm going to go to Bangalore. 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 My name is Rishanibi. Arjun. പിന്നെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദിവ്യ എന്തൊരടക്കം ഒതുക്കം മലയാള തനിമ പെൺകുട്ടികളെ എങ്ങനെ വേണം കണ്ടു പഠിക്കണം ഏത വന്ന് മുള്ളിൽ വിണാലും മുള്ളിൽ വന്ന ഏത വിണാലും കേട് ഇറക്കാം നല്ല നാടൻ സംസ്കാരത്തിലും അച്ചടക്കത്തിലും നടന്ന എനിക്ക് ഇവരെ പോലെ ദുശീലങ്ങളൊന്നും തന്നെ ഇല്ല എന്ന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പറയാം കുടുംബക്കാർ തമ്മിൽ ഇല്ലാത്ത എന്തോ ഒരു സംതൃപ്തി ഞങ്ങൾ മൂന്ന് പേര് തമ്മിൽ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു തന്റെ ദേഷ്യ ആവേശം കാണിക്കുന്ന റോഡിൽ പുറത്തു അല്ല I love how um, Millennium trailers just nothing. Don't, yeah, they don't know like you think this. And um, what's what I'm assuming? It looked like a almost. It almost looked like a coming of age, like a almost like a not a coming of age necessarily, but like a uh, what's that one with uh, Amir Khan and Saif that we watch? Uh, Del Chata High. Oh yeah, kind of like with a, the three buddies, a, a buddy right. film finding themselves. Right, but, but they've I, already yes. But I almost know that's not what it's going to. Be fully. Yeah, I can't fully tell. Um, because of what we've been told that like they just don't tell you. 
mm -hmm. what's going to go on in the film. Yeah, my, if we went off of uh, Kumbalaji Nights, what happened to the thing, that is not how the film ended up. No. In the slightest. No. <laughs> and it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, go see it. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one for me was just kind of like, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so you, but I, I've heard rave reviews about it, so I'm assuming that uh, it will be very good. Uh, three cousins set out to fulfill their Bangalore. Yeah, so like it, it yeah. seemed like that uh, they'll shut the high, people going on kind of finding them, finding friendship, and right. uh, what the meaning of life is. Um, do, I, do, do, do any of the other people from Kumbala Jinnets in there? Does Fahad seems to have a, a, a smaller role based on the trailer? Like a, I wonder a, how a supporting often, role. How often does he take the supporting roles as opposed to the, the right, being the lead star? Which happened in, and until recently to like Gary Oldman, mm -hmm. one of the greatest character actors of all time. He was normally never the lead. He was either Very the villain subtle. or a, uh, a supporting, yeah. and he always knocked it out of the park. Yep. But he he hardly was ever the the, the lead. Correct. Um, with with some exceptions. Um, I'm wondering if that's w w what his yeah. career Don't is know. similar to. You can let us know. Um, but I do enjoy him. So yeah, you let us know uh, how this film is. Uh, if this is. One of the next Malolian films. Yeah, if you guys watch. jump up and down for this like you did Kambalanji Nights, I we're, keep we're in. seeing it recommended. Uh, so I, I would hope it's, and from what we've seen and heard, is that it's very like realistic, is what Malolian films. Yeah, I was just going to say the whole industry pretty much goes for realism. Realism, mm -hmm. as opposed to, um, which, which it doesn't make any sense to me why any industry wouldn't want to go for realism. Well, I mean, there is a market. Come on, we went and saw war. I know, but outside of that, yeah. Like, why would you not try to be realistic? The only reason I can think of sincerely is like the action films that defy, like the South Indian films that defy physics, mm -hmm. is just because there's an audience for it. Mm. And because, I mean, Big B said this about sometimes uh, in Bollywood with the Hindi films, folks want to be taken out of reality. They don't want to see things depicting real life. They want something that's going to transport them away from the real world for three hours so they can get away from it. So, there, I mean, there are, I know people who that they don't like dramas or things that touch too close to home because they don't want to go there. They want to escape. They'd rather go to a, you know, they'd rather visit a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, me too. Yeah, so, but I, I you know me, I'm, I like all of the above, <laughs> but when push comes to shove, my favorite movies are ones that have some kind of an important message, a social message, and whether it's a musical, it's a drama, it's a whatever, I, if, if it's got some level of inspiration, uh, that's, and John and I were just talking about the other day, what's your favorite genre of movie? And it would, I like all genres that have some message that's inspiring. No, that wouldn't be mine. No. I don't need an inspiring message to love a film. I, I prefer them. In, I like, in the slightest. I actually prefer if it doesn't happen. Yeah, you like it to be... You like anarchy. Kill everyone. And chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my favorite films. Um, no, I, I like universal truths that have a great moral to the story and remind you about what's really important in life. Those are my favorite films. No. Whether it's comedy, drama, I musical, think my, I whatever think my it favorite, is. Well, obviously, the, the acting is first and foremost for me. If you you have to have really good acting uh, and believable acting. Yes. Yeah, so um, and then obviously the the rest of the film needs to follow suit. But like, I think I prefer to just be surprised in a film. I don't because like I don't like it if like if, if I can just predict your film. I'm like okay. Yeah, yeah predictability isn't necessarily yeah, a good thing. Not, not great. Which is why I like a lot of the like when characters like in in Kumbalaji Nights. He just. He just freezes goes off the goes edge to the corner. <laughs> I love that. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> and it makes me so excited. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Let us know about this film, please.